How's it going, guys? My name is Damani. I'm a tech artist, 3D scanning specialist, and a brand ambassador for Shining 3D. And today we're going to be taking a look at the new Einstar 3D scanner. It's the newest scanner in the Einscan family of scanners, but it's unique in being the more affordable option at only $1,000. So let's get into the unboxing. All right, so when you first look in the box, you'll see uh, two components, right? You'll see what's clearly the scanner uh, on the left there. But uh, there's also another box here, which is part of your charging port, your charging cable. And so in here is the actual scanner itself. Uh, it comes in this beautiful, uh, I would call it ash gray kind of case, right? Um, the case is hard, but it's also soft. So it's a fabric case, but they, ha they chose this, you know, harder inner shell, which is very nice. Uh, it has a handle here which is a nice uh, feature as well. And I see on, on either side, there's these two hooks. So I imagine once we open up uh, the case, we'll probably find a, a strap inside. So yeah, let's open it up. All right, so now that I have it open, I see more boxes. Uh, so this one here is the, the data cable box. So this is the cable that will uh, transfer all the data information from the scanner itself to your accompanying workstation, your PC. Yeah, so this is the data transfer cable. Very cool. I'll put that back in there. And then this is the other half of the power adapter, right? So you, this is the, the brick part. Uh, ultimately, I'll be keeping them together and, and both will be in the case. I, I'm sure they had a, a, you know, a tough time at Shining trying to get it all to fit in the case for the unboxing, but ultimately will all fit back in here. So this is the other portion of the uh, charging cable. Um, an interesting thing of note too, uh, on the data transfer cable is the plug. Uh, so the power actually routes back into the data transfer cable, kind of helping to minimize the amount of, of wires. And then over here, we find the scanner itself. And it is beautiful. So this is the new Einstar 3D scanner. Uh, it comes in this, I don't know, space blue, we'll call it. You know, it's like a light blue. Uh, I see there's three, three lenses here. So I imagine uh, there's probably a stereo, uh, stereoscopic camera system in here, um, as well as a, a third camera for, for color, for texture information. And then in the middle here is what I imagine is the projector. So a lot of these types of handheld scanners have a projector that's projecting some kind of uh, pattern that deforms across the surface, and that's how we're capturing our, our, our um, distance measurements, uh, creating our point clouds. So beautiful scanner. Um, on the back here, there's some, some soft buttons. Um, the play button is to go, and then there's the plus and minus. Uh, those are for controlling your, your brightness setting, but also uh, for Zoom, which is pretty cool. So let me put that back. So that's the bottom portion uh, of the case. In the top part here, let's see what's inside. If I open the zipper, the first thing that pops out is... Okay, I can already kind of tell what I think this is. It's a cleaning cloth, very nice. Uh, there's a lot of glass, there's lenses, cleaning cloth, very helpful. Also, we have markers. Okay, so for those of you who may not be familiar with markers, uh, scanners often struggle with uh, objects and surfaces that are kind of flat, kind of planar. Uh, the technical term in, uh, in terms of scanning would be featureless, right? So. Uh, when you're scanning these planar surfaces, these objects that don't have a lot of, uh, you know, convex or concave details, it's just one, you know, flat expanse, then you want to introduce those features, you want to add these markers, and that will help you track along those kinds of surfaces. So for a very specific use case, but uh, awesome that they, they give us a, a packet full of stickers. And then uh, there's another zipper here. Let's open up this part. This is our calibration plate. So it comes in this nice velvety sleeve and then out pops the calibration plate. I'm not sure if you can actually 
see that here, but that is the calibration plate. It's got, it's a ceramic plate. It's got a bunch of the markers on it, and different size markers. So this will help for calibrating the scanner. Let me put that back in the sleeve. And then the very last thing in here is uh, the strap that I knew I would find eventually. Uh, so yeah, this will just snap on here. That's the complete unboxing. I know I kind of breezed through that, but uh, not too much in here. Um, so yeah, let's dive into the, the demo now and see how it actually performs. All right, so thank you so much. This has been my unboxing and, and, and demo video. I hope you got some solid information and value out of this. And I would say this is a, a scanner that I recommend. It's a, it's a quality scanner from Shining 3D. Uh, but, you know, understand that it's not, you know, an industrial scanner. It's not at the same level as structured light or a laser type scanner. I think this scanner is a good entryway into 3D scanning. So if you're not as familiar with the space, if you don't want to yet invest in a $10,000 system, right? I do think that the Einstar is a great option. Uh, it would be great in, in learning environments where you're kind of exposing, uh, you know, new learners, new 3D scanning users. Um, and I do think it can, it can be used in some interesting use cases. Uh, one, in, one use case that I'm really ex excited to try, to try to test is hair scanning. Um, structured light systems, laser systems, they, they struggle with hair. But I do think that, you know, the Einstar, if it's, you know, the underlying technology is a depth sensor, like I suspect, then it should perform well in those cases. So, yeah. Um, again, my name is Damani. Thank you so much. Take care. Till next time.